A client asked, how do I get my wife to do the things I see in porn? So if you're watching and wondering, you're not alone. It's okay. You're in the right place. No shame, no blame. I don't take it away from you. But if you think that porn is sex, it's not. Porn is not real life. It's not educational. Porn is fantasy entertainment. As a matter of fact, I have taught porn stars techniques to help them perform on cue for the camera and alternatively how to stop performing and be real life lovers. Story. I call him Morocco. He came to see me because he heard that I had developed moves that help guys with performance pressure, erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, all kinds of things. He had an opportunity to perform in porn and wanted to know if these things would help him. And I said, yeah, skills. So he learned off he went. He came back about a year later, married to one of his co-stars, asking me, I'm a porn star, married to a porn star. Why am I finding myself in a mostly sexist relationship? <laughs> That's because porn feels like a job. It's your work for both of you. You might love your work, but it's still work. When the cameras are off, the director's gone, the crew is gone. He's faced with real life. He doesn't know what to do. He's a performer for a reason. <clears throat> <laughs> porn is not spontaneous they have a plan they prepare they rehearse they have retakes they're like stunt performers who sometimes have to recover after a scene for real real life is not a performance the difference is the love connection you gotta make love i'm amy color known as the best intimacy coach because solutions. I've been helping men with intimacy, sex, love, life, relationships, porn, and their equipment for a very long time. So please help me hit that subscribe and notification bell. I am going to share how I take my clients from watching and trying to perform like porn stars to being real life lovers in and out of the bedroom, whether you're making dinner or making love I want you to be in it together. Stay with me. I'm going to tell you about my program, The Intimacy Game Plan, where you can learn the moves that porn stars learn. But first, you got to start the action. Guys, I get it. Watching porn is easier than real life. <laughs> Apparently performing in it is too. <laughs> That's because there's nobody to please but yourself. Porn is not focused on pleasure. Yours or theirs, or even Rocco's. There's no initiating, there's no moods, there's no kids, there's no laundry, there's no bills, there's no seduction, there's no sensuality, there's no love. And that's the thing about love. You want to share it. That means you got to make it. The problem is, is the guys are watching porn because it feels like it gives them a sense of control over their sexuality. It gives them access to their erotic self, their sexual expression. But at a certain point, the porn starts to take control over them, leading them to really dark places. It's If you want to know, there's a science behind it. I cover some of it in my book. And if you want to know more, please let me know in the comments. I will make a video about it because it's fascinating. The point is, is that I understand and there's a reason for it. Outsourcing your erotic, as I call it, and having secret sexual activities, whether it's porn leading to other things, it's okay, no shame, no blame. I'm just saying I understand why it builds a wedge in your relationship. Because instead of sharing real life sexual experiences and erotic encounters and being vulnerable and experiencing these things together, he is picturing porn and performing in his head and she's not in it at all or maybe she's off in her other own fantasy the thing is is that they're both feeling like they're alone because they're not in it together and that's the part that makes it satisfying something is missing that intimate connection sex is supposed to feel good but this doesn't feel good for either one of them watching and playing and being in the action are two completely different things, just like football. Watching is fun. 
but being in the action, knowing that you are part of that winning team, making the score, knowing what to do, knowing that you're going to get better and better over time. That's the best part. You didn't come just to watch other people do it. You don't want to miss out on life and sex and pleasure and making love. That's the best part of life. And it's the reason you got into a relationship in the first place. Michael Jordan says that talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. Like Rocco. Rocco has some talent. He knows how to score. But the real score comes from being in connection, being teammates with his wife. I think of your intimate relationship as an intimacy team, and intimacy is your favorite sport. Mm -hmm. You think you should know all the moves because, you know, you've been watching it so long. Imagine, like, if you loved football and you love calling the plays from the sofa, you know what you do. You're excited watching it. But playing the game for real, being in the middle of the action, that takes some real moves. You got to know what you're doing. You got to have some skills. That's what I teach you. I'm your coach. Like Rocco. He's got moves. He knows how to do it alone. He could slam dunk all day. <laughs> He's good at his job. But making love, being in it together, that's a totally different ball game. That's being vulnerable. That's being part of a team. That's taking it to the next level. Learning to be in it together so that you can care for each other, so that you can be dangerous together, so that you can take those risks together. For Rocco and my husbands who want to explore, I make it easy. I give you a step-by-step -step formula. I teach you a routine I've developed that drops the performance pressure, that drops the expectations, that bypasses that porno brain. And because real life is a whole body contact sport. You got to be in it together. I teach you how to make love and explore the field of pleasure together. These things take practice and it's the best part. That's when your real life experiences are so much better than watching. They say that being in a relationship takes work. I say you need more play in and out of the bedroom. That is the best part. For Rocco, he thought that his sex would be the least of his concerns, right? But now for him and Mrs. Rocco, they're in it together. Even work doesn't even feel like work anymore. It's about pleasure, which has totally changed the, the, their game. Total shift in their relationship and in their work. And for those husbands who want to explore, one of, my, one of my husbands said, I'm glad to say that I have less horn desire. I'm not as drawn to it because now I'm more focused on her. This has opened our world. They got a massage table. And instead of setting up a sex room, they set up a pleasure room where they are exploring all of the moves that you've showed us. Hmm. Hmm. I'm telling you. When you have a partner and these moves, the possibilities are endless. In my program, you learn the starting positions. You learn the basic moves that you think you already knew. Just like Rocco, he thought he knew all the moves. But I teach you how to do it like the pros. And then I teach you the advanced moves. But you got to be on the team in order to be able to do those advanced moves. You get an intimacy game plan. You know your practices. You plan your games. You've got your championships to look forward to. Because when you're part of a winning team, it shows. I want you, just like Rocco, to be as confident at home and successful at home as you are at work, knowing exactly what you do. I, you want to grow you want team building skills. That's how you build trust, compassion, empathy. That's how you get to the lovey man phase. That's what I call it in my program. Because think about it, a football team, even after a bad game, they still like, I love you, man, because they know they're going to recover. They know they're going to get better and better. And they know they're going to get back in the game. And that's the most important part. My clients go from roommates to playmates without just talking or trying to perform. Having an intimacy game plan and a coach can restore your sense of control, your sense of dignity, pride, confidence. 
knowing what to do in and out of the bedroom, on and off camera. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment. Do you have any questions? What was the standout part? What is your biggest takeaway from this? Do you want to know about the science of porn? Please hit that like button. Do me a favor. And if you're ready for real solutions, if you want to learn the moves <laughs> that the porn stars move, know and also how to get the game started. You don't have to figure it out alone. I'm here to help. I've been doing this for a really long time. You'll find a link in the description that'll go directly to my calendar. I'll give you a strategy. We'll find out if the intimacy game plan is right for you. In the meantime, stay connected to yourself, each other, and me. And I'll see you soon. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.